good evening, good evening, uh, South Africa. This is Maputi Munyamani, affectionately known as Ashin Twela in Running Fraternity. Uh, this message is about the charity initiative run that I had last year between uh, July and December the 31st, 2021. Uh, this evening on the 8th of February uh, is the end of the business of the day whereby I visited the schools back in Limpopo, Hamatlala for school uniform handover, the official one. So this is my official uh, vote of thanks messages for all the people who supported me from day one when I started my my journey of uh, Ashin Twitter Homecoming Charity Run. The aim was to raise funds to buy school uniform, full school uniform for 60 school kids back in Limpopo from under privileged circumstances whereby the parents are not working and it didn't sit well with me back in the days when I was still at primary where my peers didn't have full school uniform and we were working next to one another. Some they had to punk school, some they had to drop out because of that. that left a scar in my heart and I told myself that God forbid uh, if I'm still alive I'm gonna do my bit to change the situation I don't want the kids coming after me to go through the same path that me and my peers went through I know it's, it's, it's a very painful situation you can imagine during winter when it's cold you don't have a jersey on or you don't have shoes on or it's raining you don't have shoes on so yeah it was a, it was a very sad moment uh, during those cool days but i'm happy to report that uh, with this initiative the homecoming charity run we were able to put smiles on the kids face not on the kids face only but the community at large you could see the jubilation, the happiness, the excitement when we arrive and the welcome we got. It was just overwhelming, amazing, priceless moments. So I just want to say thank you guys for those who contributed. It might be by donating money those who bought a school uniform or shoes, those who were involved with me while I was doing my challenge of running 1,500 kilometers in 31 days, uh, the guys who have ran with me, the guys who have assisted me logistically, especially on the last day of uh, Epic Run, 105 kilometers, when I was closing off the challenge, people came in out in numbers to come and support me. Some, they came even ran with me and i would just like to say thank you so much guys and let's continue to support one another and uh, this is just a dream that i had but for me the way it happened it was not a one-man show it was a, a, a collective team effort in running for eternity and outside world out there uh, just to answer a few questions uh, about how I feel that all the hard work is coming to uh, fluctuation with today's handover. Uh, wow, man. Like I said, look, you know, just touching the ground in... Limpo Bahamatlala, because we started at my village, Pofu. You know, I got there. The principal were calling me 
just to ask us guys are you still coming where are you how far are you i've got the parents and the kids here they're excited they're looking forward to this uh ceremony you know hearing those words from the principal you know i was just emotional all the way to limpopo and when i get there i see the parents they're sitting there you know with sad faces but the moment they see that you know this is happening this guys the guys are here you know i started seeing some light on their faces the smiles you know they started um relating you know screaming shouting clapping hands singing for us yeah man that was like you know what my mission is accomplished and i felt like I've, I've i've done the utmost you know yeah they see me as a hero but for me it was not about me the dream was bigger than me the thought was bigger than me it might be my brainchild or it might be my brainchild with my friend david mongwa because i discussed this with him and i thank god that me and him we shared the very sentiments so i would say this is our our brainchild you know so yeah most of the people they're saying it's, it's 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 me it's me it's me but it's 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 a it's a collective team effort and yes i was seen as the most um forefront guy behind the ashen Twela homecoming charity run so it was heartwarming overwhelming amazing when seeing those kids you know running around with joy excitement lots of energy knowing that you know what somebody is here to change our life not for us only but for the future generation to come so i was so happy and i'm glad that uh, we are able to put smiles on their faces the parents you know some were even in tears they couldn't believe what was happening because like i say this is the situation is very dire back there you know we need a initiative like this especially in rural areas because it's upon ourselves the people who come from the rural areas to change the dire situations back then and i encourage and call upon on people from rural villages not to turn back on the the disadvantaged kids or community from where we come from uh, in terms of the money that were uh, the money that we raised uh, in total because we had uh, a link um, activated beg a body link for slash my put in your money that's where people could access the link to raise funds or to donate rather while i was busy uh, challenging myself on the streets running the distance that i uh, i promised or i challenged myself that i'm gonna cover that distance and on the link on its own we were able to raise um uh it's thirty thousand let me just check it's thirty thousand one hundred and seventeen and twenty two cent on the peggy body link and then uh, the money that we paid straight to my account to put together with that one it was eleven thousand two hundred and forty so in total it was forty one thousand three hundred and fifty seven and twenty two cent but the target was um, 105,000 to cater for 60 learners. Uh, because everything that we do, we put God first. And we believe in Him and we believe through God we can achieve anything that we want. I, get, I got hold of, hold of the service provider where I bought the school uniform. And I explained the situation to them that because I'm on a mission to raise funds to buy school uniform. And this is how much I've got so far. And my worry is that uh, we have this situation whereby most people lost their jobs during COVID and people are not working. You can imagine we're going through so, so, so much as a country. And I was intending to raise 105,000, but 
Uh, unfortunately, we were only managed to raise 41,357 rands. And when I told them that uh, I had to challenge myself to cover a distance of 1,500 kilometers, sorry, in 31 days, you know, covering a distance of 50 kilometers daily, you know, the guy, he just got emotional, you know, saying, dude, you had to like literally put your body through so much in order to raise funds for the people that you don't even know. They don't even know you, these kids. And you going through this um, traumatizing challenge. You know what? The guy, he was teary, you know, crying, but it was not crying for feeling sorry or pity for me, but it was tears of joy. You know, as he was crying and smiling at the same time and telling me that, you know what, I've never came across something like this in my entire life. And for the fact that you did this just to raise funds for these kids, look, bring the money that you have raised and, and I'll give you the full uniform from shoes, trousers, socks, skirts, tunics, shirts, pullovers, jerseys, you know, for all these 60 kids. And we were able to get full school uniform for those 60 kids with the money that we have raised. And you can imagine we're still short of something like what, 100 and 1,000 altogether. So the guy was willing to write that off for the sake of this charity. And I thank God for him. And I think we, we should say that, you know what, he is a God sent. And God heard our, our prayers. So, altogether, the initiative was supposed to benefit 60 kids. But we were able to cater for... I would say 69 kids, if not 70 altogether. Because uh, at some stage I had a uh, school uniform drive whereby I hosted training runs and I encouraged and asked people to buy shoes if they can or buy socks if they can or buy school uniform if they can. And look, you know, in running fraternity, we've got God sent people. We've got people with big heart, people who are willing to give all the time, irregardless the situation that we find ourselves in. When we raise the hands and ask for help, running people, running family, they're always willing to help. And because of them, we're able to cater more than 60 kids. And, well, the name of the schools that we were raising funds for, it's a DBN Primary School. And Pofu Primary School, they in Limpopo, Hamatala District, and all these schools, they were named after the villages, which is Pofu Village, that's where I was born and bred, and Dibeyengi Village, that's where my partner David Mongo was also born and bred. So, and then the age group. We were catering for the kids from grade one to grade seven, both schools, and it was a, a mixture of girls and and boys. Uh, and then in the process, as we went, we were busy uh, campaigning and asking for donations. We were lucky enough to uh speak to one of the institution old mutual they came on board and donated uh 65 sanitary towels for baby girls and then uh, they donated uh 65 um, dignitary goodie bags so for the boys like your deodorants toothpaste, toothbrushes, face cloth and soaps and all those things, you know. 
just to say, look, yes, you wanted school shoes and school uniform, but at the moment we don't have a, a budget for that. Maybe next year, but this is what we can help with. And they donated those things to Old Mutual. We say thank you so much, guys. Uh, those things, they really came in handy. And yeah, that's pretty much. And for 2022, <laughs> you know, starting an initiative like this, I never thought it would open um, so much. Uh, what, what should I say? Um, another opportunities to bring change and development in our rural areas but hopefully we'll do better than what we did because the aim is to like donate more than what we donated we have seen how the the state of the schools look like and i must say you know from the pictures you'll see things are bad things are bad so donating school uniform was just a start and hopefully we can achieve uh, more things to come in 2022 so as to what's need to be done or what are we going to do as a shim Twila movement uh, i'll keep you abreast as time goes by yeah and hopefully we will we'll get there we'll get there there's too many things that need to be done but it's one project at a time one child at a time and i think the ultimate goal with Archin Twila movement i would like to like dress up the entire school basically uh, i know the other school has got uh, 409 learners the other one is for 490. So let's see what uh, what's in store for us. If everything goes well, I would say we'd provide full school uniform for the entire school. That's the ultimate goal. And there's a couple of projects we'll have to embark on, you know, like um, uh reading books you know there's still things like wi-fi they showed at school the libraries the uh, computer labs you know just to bring the kids up to speed with the the new technology uh environment i mean you can see where life is taking us in terms of technology so those school kids back there they, they, they're still behind and we would like to bring them to sp uh, up to speed with regards to uh, a new ways of doing things in life. And from me, Ashen Twela and the crew and the family, the supporters, you know, I mean, Ashen Twela, it's, 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 it's a people's brand. Uh, it's a people's movement, people's brand. So whatever that I do, I'm not doing it for myself and I'm not doing it alone. It's a, it's, it's a whole lot of people behind this brand. So wherever you see it, just know that that brand belongs to you as well. It's a people's brand, people's movement. And yeah, man, God bless. And from me, Ashin Twila, love you so much, guys. Cheers.